Hi guys, this is Crystal, and I am off to Shambhala here on YouTube. And this is episode 13 of Reseller Shop Talk. And today I'm going to be showing you a Christmas haul of things that I thrifted and am planning to list in my eBay store. And I realize that a lot of these things probably aren't going to sell until next Christmas, but I picked up a few. I don't know, I should have added up how many I got last, or tried to at least estimate, but I'm going to say I had a good 25, 30 things that I thrifted a little bit before Christmas last year, and a little bit after Christmas last year, and some of the stuff carried over again from that I had listed before Christmas, and then it sold this Christmas, and then... You know, the new stuff, I had a few things sell over the year, but a lot of it, like around Thanksgiving, was selling like gangbusters. And yeah, there was quite a few things that maybe I only made like five bucks on. But at the same time, I was just so happy to have things that people buy at Christmas time because my sales on everything else went way down around Thanksgiving. And that was like a real bummer. I was doing really really good on my normal yearly things for like a long time and then my numbers just took a nosedive so I was thinking you know what if if I could take like a couple hundred dollars or whatever something around that was going to be my budget and just go pick up all of this Christmas these Christmas doodads or ho whatever holiday doodads and and just get as much as I could then next year at Christmas time I'll be ready and um, and Christmas stuff does sell year-round just not like gangbusters but it you know and I got some good stuff that I think might very well sell over the course of the year well at least one thing I can think of off the top of my head might sell um and then who knows about the other stuff. Some stuff surprised me. I can't even tell you. Like, so it's just so, and it's fun. So I like doing this. So if I take whatever two days or one day to get whatever amount of Christmas stuff I can get right now listed. And I only make $250, $300 over the course of the year and then around Christmas time next year. I figure that's worth, you know, the day of listing. And while I was buying this stuff, I did buy a few non-Christmas things, but most of the stuff I got was Christmas. And, um, what else was I going to say? Okay, and did I start mentioning this? I, this is my second take, so now I can't remember what I said or not. <laughs> um, if I didn't say this yet, I'm changing up the format of reseller shop talk a little bit it's just whenever I talk about eBay sales it's just going to be called reseller shop talk I'm changing up the format of my channel I guess you could say not that I've really even had a format but I've tried to do other videos like way way back in the day and um, it was really going to be a mixture of videos on this channel and I would sort of let it evolve and uh, you know I do reselling it's my life so that's what I make videos on and but other there's other things that I want to start making videos on as well and so those will if I post about a different topic it'll have its name um, and I don't know what the names of the other categories are going to be but they're going to be like food and health related and then um, another one about moving to Phoenix or living in Phoenix. I'm going to do like a Phoenix blog. I already have one video for that. And I've got some videos for the food one too. But I just have been trying to decide should I start like whole new channel. Like have like three channels. Or just put it all on one channel. And right now I'm just going to put it on one channel. It's not like I have a big huge following. And I want the content for when I do like actual blogs. Or like a website. And then you know the videos will just be on off to Shambhala. So if you like my reseller videos and you get a notice that says there's something from me and it, you know, it says something about food and health and you're absolutely not interested, you know, then you can just ignore those. Or um, if you get a notice for the Phoenix 
uh, videos, then just, you know, you're not interested, just ignore those. So, And vice versa, if you become whatever, okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, where am I at? I'm already five minutes in. Man, I'm long-winded. Okay, so let's start with the first thing. So this is some kind of a... I don't know what I, you would call this. I guess it would be like a wreath. And it's like this padded, plush, country, wall-hanging hang, wreath thing. Um, and I just, it's just, I looked at, it's really just a lot of this stuff. It's just, I look at it, I go, somebody's going to want this. <laughs> uh, so somebody's just going to want this. And I might be able to get 10 bucks for this. We'll see what happens. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to try not to go into too much of an explanation about any one of these things. You know what? I don't have a... Okay. This one is a set of coasters. And again, I was like, somebody's going to want this. And it could be something. And I didn't bother looking it up because it was half this price. And I'm like, you know what? Coasters, somebody will want them. And they're by Royal Table from England, stuff like from Europe, usually, and I didn't know if this was a good name or not. And it looks like these were actually actively selling, like there's a following for this brand, it looks like. But I didn't find any exactly like this that sold. But, uh, yeah, I think it's like a goose. But I always do good with coasters, and so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's let's do this guy. Let's see. I'm gonna have to lift this up. Ignore that shirt. It just happens to be there, and I was too lazy to move it. Uh, moose. I've always do good with moose. Anything like moose sells. I don't know what it is, but he is cool, and moose is. I don't. How do you say moose in plural? I need to look that up. <laughs> Um, he's a moose on ice skates. And again, and I got him for like 75 cents. And he's in pretty good shape. He needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But, um, come on. Some, whoops, crash. Somebody's going to want him. That's all I'm going to say about that. And this is one of those advent calendars, and it's metal, and it has, like, this little uh, mitten that you place for each day. And you know what? I didn't notice this when I bought it, and I'm wondering if this happened after, like, if I did that. But it's got these scratches right here, and I don't, I don't know if I just overlooked that or what, or if I did that. So I'm a little bummed about that. That one was actually a little pricier, but apparently the I've never sold an advent calendar, but apparently uh, they're they tend to be good. That I mean, I'm sure that doesn't mean that every advent calendar on the planet is going to sell, but I thought that one was kind of neat, and who knows, somebody will buy it. This I just thought it was cool, and it's kind of like a relatively nice quality, relatively well done. It's in excellent condition. There's no like dings in it um and I just like it like if it doesn't sell like I would totally use this as decoration somewhere but um it's a partridge in a pear tree well technically like a quail in a pear tree but I did look it up and partridges are in the quail family but partridges technically don't have this plume but I think it adds to the character and you know really who cares I mean, unless you're just one of those purists. But for all-purpose decoration. Um, and then it has, like, this sort of folk painting that kind of reminds me of something that you would see from maybe Germany or somewhere in Europe. It just has a really European look. Anyways, somebody's going to want that. Um... Here's another thing somebody's going to want. And these sell, like, if you find, like, nice, uh, whether it's Christmas or not, like, these kinds of things sell on eBay, so I always pick them up. Well, I've only picked them up a couple times, but they look like they're always selling anyways. Um, 
what do you call these things? Oven mitts. And these are like new. So those will sell. Um, okay, here's another thing that I did really well with. I had a bunch of stuff like this. Um, they didn't necessarily look like this, but like these are napkins, Christmas napkins. And I had bought like a, you know, one of those mystery bags at a thrift store. I'm like, well, let's see what's in there. And I ended up making like, I don't know, 20 bucks out of the bag. So there was like maybe three things out of the bag that I'm like, well, maybe somebody will want this. Let me at least give it a whirl. <laughs> And um, I think there's like an apron and some Christmas napkins and I don't remember what else. Um, but uh, I don't know, I might not have even made $20. Maybe $15 is what I actually made. But there were some Christmas napkins that weren't even that great, in my opinion. But they were Christmas napkins and they were okay looking. And they did happen to be of a brand, I believe, so maybe that helped. Anyways... But people buy these, and, like, you, yes, it's great if you have, like, a lot of 20 of them or something, but people will buy these. And I think that um, what it is is people will mix and match because that's kind of a popular decor way to decorate is to mix and match things. There's, like, this mix and match trend um, I mean, I'm, I love the mix and match trend, so I'm all like, somebody's going to want this in their mix and match. And the other thing that's nice about this plaid type pattern of anything is that it just mixes well with, there's just a ton of this stuff and you can get like 20 different pieces that aren't a matching set, but it all still sort of coordinates. So it's like mismatched, but coordinated. It, and you could really like, you know, if you wanted to deck out your place and it'll still have like a cohesive look so anyways I think that's why people buy those but or maybe they already I don't know what they think who knows there's a bunch of different things but that's my theory about people like a mismatched but coordinating look and they just they're collecting I don't know this right here is that one thing that I think is going to do really good and it could sell sooner rather than later this is oh gosh you can't even see it this is a Pottery Barn Big Huge Pillow Cover. Let's see, I just go around, look at it. You know what, maybe I should pick up my camera instead. Um, I've seen Pottery Barn Big Pillow Covers sell for pretty good money. They're, they're actively selling, people look for it, and I think this is really pretty. And it may not, you know, again, I may have to wait until next fall, or closer to the fall. And the funny thing is, is I just was like, this is one of those things, I'm like, somebody's going to want it. It was probably like a dollar, you know, at, after the discount. And then I get home, and I open it up, and there's the tag, and I'm like, yes, Pottery Barn. So, and it's in pretty good shape. It's not, you know, like 100% new looking, but but it's the kind of thing that it doesn't necessarily have to look new. I guess, I don't know, I guess there's a little more spotting on it than I thought. But it's not too bad. I, I don't know, it looks like it's been dropped on the floor and it has like dirt marks. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to try to wash it out. Um, okay, this, I sold a bunch, well, not a bunch, I think I had, like, three things that were kind of like this, and I was hoping to find more of them, I'm like, wow, I can't believe those things sold, <laughs> like, I, I was like, well, let's try it and see what happens, but these are like, oh, let me move this over, this is like a quilty thing, now, this is not, and, and I, the ones that I sold were, like, quilty wall hanging things and I think I do have one more so I can show you what I mean and they have like little loops on the top here that you would put like in some sort of a rod situation like maybe you I don't know where you have I don't know what but anyways um I suppose if somebody really wanted let me pick this up again if somebody really wanted to yeah this is my <laughs> tripod <laughs> Um, if somebody really wanted to, 
they could hang this on a wall, but I think it was intended to just sort of sit on a table or something. I really don't know. Or you could use it, I suppose, and I don't know how well it would really work, but if somebody really wanted to, they could put like a little Christmas tree on it and use it like as a Christmas tree skirt. Who knows? But somebody will want it. There's a good chance somebody will want it. But it's like a, it's not really a quilt, but it has like that batting inside of it. And there's really, it's not a pillowcase. There's no openings. And I, it's probably not going to go for a lot, but I'll probably make five bucks on it. But five bucks is five bucks, and it doesn't take up any space. It's easy to ship. And people don't return this stuff. Let's just face it. These might do good. Um, these are brand new, unused pillowcases, and I think they're sort of like custom handmade from somebody that has a brand called Just In Case Pillowcases. I did not look them up on the internet to see if they have like a website. And I'm not super crazy about them, but again, they're kind of fun too. You know, if you have a guest room or you just want to make your, your bedroom a little more Christmassy, they're pillowcases. And they're, I think they're king size. So, you know, and people like to do special stuff at Christmas time, obviously. We're just crazy about decorating for Christmas, so. Somebody will want those. And sheets, people just buy this stuff. Like, I have sold sheets and stuff before, so. I think I might even be able to make $10 off those. Um, this... I might make a couple bucks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll really make any money on this. And maybe I'll just, I don't even know if I'm even going to list this, but it's like a um, cardboard ornament and you put a picture in it. I, I don't know, it just looks like something that's not real expensive. But I've sold stuff like that before for more than I thought, so who knows, maybe I'll put it up and see what happens. And these two, I don't know if I'm going to sell. I, I got, some of this stuff came out of like bags of stuff. So, like that one I just showed you, and I, I might forget to mention that. But these are like, um, like mix, you know, those mixed bags, like, uh, what do you call them? Like a mystery bag. And you're like, what the heck is in there? There's like one thing that looks good in there, and then the rest is like, well, maybe that other stuff is good, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, that's what this was. So, um, I thought this was neat. Now, I've heard that people make gift baskets, and they do pretty... <coughs> Excuse me. Woo. I just got like a little dust or something. They make these gift baskets and um, like kind of like this, if you can see that there. And and then they sell those on eBay or Amazon even. And uh, I just never had the patience to do it. And who knows, maybe with these boxes, I'll be like, maybe I should try to make some kind of a gift box. And I do have a few items that I was thinking I could make turn into, like, a gift box thing. So, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like to do crafty things. I just feel like it takes more time than it's worth. And I just, as much as I would like to do it, it's not that I'm against doing it. But it's like, I have enough things that aren't really huge money makers that I do because I like. <laughs> so, who knows what I'm going to do. Now, then they had all these Christmas cards, and I have another box of Christmas cards. Hopefully, it's with my other stuff that I'm going to add to this lot, and I'm going to sell these all as a big lot because there's a lot of people that have a lot of Christmas cards to send out, and why not for $15 get a big load of them from somebody selling them on eBay rather than spend maybe $30 on them at Christmas time? Who knows? And I think a lot of these are actually quite lovely. So, um, there's one, there's one. This one I haven't even opened yet. Uh, here's another one. Uh, and then the other one, it kind of has a similar quality to this. Just in case I put it somewhere and I don't have it. Um, and again, I don't know for sure how much I'm going to sell these for, but I bet I can get at least $15 for it. And I've sold, like, batches of cards like this before, and, and, and they will sell. Um, so these are just, like, random cards. Okay. 
and I don't know, random cards. And what is this? Navigators.org. Words of life to color and share. How lovely. That's... Okay. Um, and then there's this, which is... Oh, wait. This is looks like another mixed-up box. Like somebody had just reused this box and put... So there's like some random cards in there. Um, and then the cards that came in the box look like that with the birds. So, yeah, I think... Maybe even twenty dollars when I get that other box. And if I happen to go sourcing again and I find more Christmas cards, I'll just make an even bigger lot. But I'm not going to try to sell those individually. I'm going to try to sell them as a big lot. Grinch tie. Uh, these were act not necessarily this particular one, but um, Grinch ties were pretty much selling real well this season. So hopefully they will continue to sell next season. And maybe even somebody will buy them over the year. And it, this one, but hardly any of them. I didn't see any that lights up. It's really annoying. But, you know, mine's the only one that lights up. So, I'm thinking $15, $20. And there were some that were selling for over $20. So, Grinch ties. If you see a Grinch tie, pick it up. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Whoops, sorry about that. This is actually from Dillard's. I'm assuming these basketballs were the original ones that were supposed to go in here, and these are probably like some extra ones. You know how it happens. Like these, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't need to explain how this could happen, but um, these are all in pretty good shape. I just think they're cute as all heck. I don't know how I'm going to sell these. If I'm going to sell these golf balls separately and these or sell them all together. I don't know. But somebody's going to want those. And those were like only $10 at Dillard's for like the basket. I'm assuming it was originally the basketballs. And uh, so I don't know. I mean, there's not going to be big money. And I I may even keep them because my kids are all into golf and both golf and basketball. So I may just keep those. Tell you the truth, that's actually more like why I bought them. I'm like, I'll think about selling them, but I'm probably gonna keep them. Okay, these are placemats, and when I first saw them, I thought they were handmade, and I, they're probably handmade, but they're like made in China with like tags. I didn't notice that. I don't know how I missed that. I'm like, oh, these are kind of neat. I can just say they're handmade, and sometimes people kind of like to buy stuff like that. But I'm pretty confident somebody's going to want these placements. So, there you go. Oh, here we go. Here's another one of those quilted wall hangings. And um, it's, yeah, see here? See the doo-doo, doo-doo? And again, I didn't notice this in the store, but now that I'm sitting here in this bright light, it's not like super noticeable, but this looks a little discolored to me. So I don't know. I might try to wash this. Anyways, it sucks because I don't like to have to do that. But maybe not. I sold some other stuff that I'm like, well, it could look nicer if you washed it. But <laughs> I mean, I even put that in the listing. I still made five bucks. Five bucks is five bucks. And um, those like quilty little kind of quilty wall hanging things are so easy to list. They're very fast. Um, stockings tend to be, if they, I don't know, just certain stockings, stockings just seem to be good. Like I had some that I had a lot of interest in. They didn't sell through, but I have a feeling they will by next year. Maybe I'll lower the price on those a little bit. Who knows? those other ones, but I have a feeling the, the other stockings that didn't sell will sell through next year. But these are nice because they're huge. And they're in really great shape. And I, I just think they're a style that people would be interested in. I kind of wish they were maybe different colors, but I don't know. I They're not bad colors either. I don't know. Just not my zhuzh. And again, I don't really know how popular or unpopular these colors are for reselling. I I'm still learning. But these are huge. I don't know if you can see. Like, <laughs> So these are like great for people that like to 
put big things in stockings. So I'll probably sell these as a set. And I think I might be able to get $20 for those. I don't know. We'll see. I need to do a little more research. 15 I think I could easily get 15 Here's another stocking that is a na name brand, and this is like in pristine condition. Now, I haven't researched it, uh, but it's Dan D. So, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks, maybe 15. Um, I thought it was Dorbs. Somebody's going to want it. Let's see. What else? You know what? I'm not even going to bother. Well, uh, whatever. I'm. You know what? Hold on. I don't know if you all want to see this stuff. Tablecloth. Uh, placemats. Placemats. I just grabbed anything that looked good. <laughs> I'm telling you, people buy that stuff. And they're so easy to list and ship and store. Uh, Christmas skeins of yarn. Um, and the other thing is, is like, I think people like might buy the yarn and stuff because they're doing Christmas crafts over the year and they might not be as in... There might not be as many choices, uh, the, uh, big of a selection on the market during the rest of the year. So it's kind of like bathing suits. Like you actually can sell bathing suits all year round because there's like hardly any bathing suits in the stores. It's like the only place they can get them is online. And they're hard to even source to sell online. So anyways, this is just adorable. And it's just like a Walmart decor that was like $7.99 at Walmart. <laughs> That's what it says on the back. I'm taking that tag off. Because um, I'm going to try to get like $12 for this. <laughs> But, um, I just think it's adorable. And, uh, it's in good shape. So, I don't know. I guess if I only get $7 for it, so be it. But I'm going to try for a little more. We'll see. Who knows. Oh, this. This is another thing that looked good. I think these could be, like, $30. Maybe 25 but these people were like bidding on them, not necessarily this particular figure, but, oh, that one, the sticker's busted. This one, you can see, let's see, I can't read it, but it's, I'm sorry, I have bad eyesight. David Frickman, sorry, it takes a while for me to focus. Um, he's, if you find stuff that kind of looks like this guy, like in this sort of style of sculpture, and there's a guy, and the name on the bottom says David Frickman, uh, people like this stuff, and it goes for pretty good money. Now, these two are like exactly the same, but the dude's coloration's different. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's weird, and I don't know how I'm going to handle that. That could be a problem. I won't get into it, but uh, those I was really thrilled with. I, I didn't know. Again, they were like super cheap, and I was like, it's got some kind of name on it. They're super cheap, and they are kind of cute. I'm like, I'll just get them, because even if they're not worth a lot, I bet somebody's going to want them, and it turned, they turned out better, like that Pottery Barn thing, and I probably have spent like maybe fifty dollars on all of this all this Christmas stuff so far, so I'm thrilled with how much money I've spent. But I have a story to tell at the end, so I really that I really should say if I I I might run out of time. Okay, this is another thing. Somebody's gonna want it. It's a white Santa. No brand or anything, but he's just cool. Um let me hurry up and see. Oh, here's those other cards. Now I can put them with the other ones. These are my favorites. Um, plain green napkins. Those could sell all year round. Oh, well, let's just see here. Um, Santa napkin rings. I haven't even taken them out of the bag. 
Um, I really haven't done that great on napkin rings, but other people claim to, so I'm just going to keep collecting them if I pick them up cheap enough or if I see some that I think are really good and, and I look them up and whatever. Like, I'm still going to look at them, but I haven't really done that great with the napkin rings so far. And so anyways, and then I picked up all these uh, ribbons. So I'm going to try to sell some ribbons that I got super cheap. And, um, I have more ribbons, I think, out in my Christmas stuff that I'm probably going to throw in because I don't use them. But I might not. I might have given them away a long time ago. I was a little bummed about these. It turns out these are from the Dollar Tree and I didn't notice it. There was a sticker on the bottom that said Dollar Tree. But I'm going to try to sell them anyways. So, who knows. They're actually kind of nice. And you know what? Maybe they're not available at the Dollar Tree anymore and somebody needs replacements. So, to match the few that they already have or something, you know? So, who knows? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to list them and hope for the best. And this just looked good and it was new. And I did not pay $6.95. I got it, like, for a dollar. Because, like I said, it was on sale 50%. No, it was 75% off. And then, like I said, when I added everything, that's it. It, it's really everything turned out to be a dollar. It's really it's like a tablecloth. Can you see that there? I think this is really nice. Somebody's definitely gonna want that. Okay. Oh, non Christmas thing. Isn't this cute? It's a box with the magnetic clothes. Really nice, perfect condition. Um, now here's some things. I'm gonna show you these first because I'm a little hopeful. Do you know those Christmas villages? And I think it's like, I, like Department 51 or Department 56 or something like that that sells those like village houses. And if you find that brand, I'm sorry, I don't remember the exact name of what the brand. I think it's like Department 51 or 56 something. They sell for pretty good money, so look when you you look when you see Christmas Village houses, look for that brand, or look up Christmas Village houses and the ones that sell high, and then look for those brands. You know, I probably should have done a little more research on that. But anyways, so I've sold those houses before, and then I sold like some cheap ones, and the cheap ones don't sell as good, but they will sell. But you know, they're kind of big and bulky, and then you got to make sure you have the right size box, and da, 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 da. it takes more time. Um, so I thought, well, why? I bet people need people in their villages. So I've got this little lot of people. And unfortunately, those ended up being about a dollar a piece, which I felt, you know, this particular lot turned out to be like cost me almost four dollars. So I'm, um, but I'm hoping to get maybe twelve or fifteen for that lot. And maybe I'll find some more super cheap and I can add it to the lot. Um, and here's like a cheapy one of those Christmas villages. Uh, it's like a no brand, really. I'm, I'll be lucky to get 15 bucks out of that. But if somebody wants it, they'll want it. And I have lights that go with it. And this one's like a little bakery. 